Hey, what's up? It's Jake, and we're going to do another script to add to your arsenal. Um, and it's a different way to use a for loop and a conditional, and that's to find divisors. So if you're not familiar or don't remember what a divisor is, it's all of the numbers that can be evenly divided into something. So for example, 1, 2, 5, and 10 are all divisors of 10 because... 1, 10, 2, and 5 all can be multiplied or divided in some way to create uh, 10. And we're going to find all of those given some user uh, input um, asking them for a number. So those are our requirements. Uh, let's ask a user for a number. So we've been doing this a lot. num equals int of input and enter a number. Yeah, uh, let's see. And then we're going to write a simple, uh, well, let's first verify this works, and we'll just print num, right? So I'm going to go Python, Python, and then the name of my file, enter a number, 42, prints 42. Cool. So what are the divisors of 42? Hmm. Well, first, I think what we need to do is we need to create some sort of list, right? So I'm going to make an empty list, and I'm going to add all these numbers in here, and I check them. So the user gives me a number, and then I'm going to say for, like, like let's say they give me the number uh, 12. And then I start at the number 1, and I go, is 12 divided by, like, 1, is there a remainder? And if there is, then that that's, that's not uh, a divisor, right? So if I did, like, 12 divided by 5, there would be a remainder of 2. And so that wouldn't be counted. But 12 divided by 4 is 3, and there's 0 remainder. So I would add 4, append this list with that uh, element 4 of the sequence. Hopefully that makes sense. So let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to say um, for each for each number in in the list, well, first let's 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 figure out how we how do we how do we get a a list of numbers. So I think that what we need to do is we need to make a range and we can't divide by zero. So instead of giving it like a number like uh, num, because that'll be zero through uh, whatever the number is, not including that number itself, which is a divisor. So we have to include that. So uh, to include that, we would do num plus one. So if I entered eight as a num and I did range eight, it would do zero through seven, but I want it to do one through eight. So I'm actually going to pass two numbers to range. One is my start, and then my stop is going to be num plus one, which will be itself, uh, right? So because if I if I did this, right, if I set this range and I just give this a variable name and then print it out, let's see what it does. So print x. All right, enter number 42. So we can see range is 1 and 42. So that's what we want. We want the the stop to be, or the this to here and this to here. Now we remember in range, when you iterate through it, that this is the stopping point. So it's not going to include this. So we actually need to add uh, a 1 to it so that it stops 1 higher and will include number 42. Remember when we iterate that that's how this is going to work. Um, and so... So if I made a list, right, if I made a list out of this, we can see what this does. Uh, let's do a smaller number, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, if I didn't add this plus 1, what's going to happen? Ah, now we're missing the 8, and that won't be correct. We need 8, because 8 is a divisor. All right, so we have our, we have our list here, right? So I'm going to get rid of these things that I was using to test. So I know I have a range here, but what I really need is a for statement and say, I want to go through each of these numbers. So I'm going to go for I in range this, and then I need to, to find out if these numbers are uh, have a modulo of zero. So I'm going to go if num mod I equals equals zero, then my list a dot append whatever i is and if not then don't do anything and then at the end print out my list so this is this is one way to do it 
So let's go back to the top and see what I'm doing. So I'm going to create an empty list, and then I'm going to create a variable that's an integer by taking some number as input from a user. And then I'm going to say for every number, one through whatever that number is, if, if uh, starting at one, that number can be divided evenly with no remainder, add it to this list. And if not, then don't do anything. And then at the end, go ahead and just print out this list. So let's see what we got. Let's see if this works. So if I enter the number 8, 1, 2, 4, and 8. Those are all divisors of 8. If I enter 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. If I enter the number 562, it'll give you all of the numbers, and you don't have to be good at math to be able to figure this out. So that is another use of the for loop given a if condition. And I hope this is helpful. These are the, exactly the type of scripts that you'll probably end up writing um, when you're trying to manipulate data and create something usable for yourself. So let me know if you have any questions. And if not, I'll see you in the next one.